All right, here we are on level five of MU Healthcare's Ellis Fischel Cancer Center Cancer Exercise Series. Um, today is the most challenging level. We're going to do a slightly abbreviated kind of movement prep or warm up before we get into it. And then we just have three exercises, um, but we're going to work really intensely at those three exercises before we move on to our cardiovascular routine at the end. So, you ready to do this? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is just lie down on our back. We're going to start with that active isolated hamstring stretch, okay? We're going to try to do maybe about five reps today on each of the movements so we save a little bit of time, okay? So remember that your left leg is all the way straight, left toe straight up. You're going to extend and flex the knee joint. We'll go about five times, then we'll switch to the other side. Okay? You can go fast or slow. depends on how good you feel, how warm you need to be. All right, excellent job, okay? Next one, we're gonna do the side-lying T-spine mobility. So let's go ahead and start with the right leg. You're gonna hug the right knee up to the chest. You're gonna cross it over midline. Hold your right knee down close to the floor with your left hand, and your right hand is gonna to touch left side of the body all the way to the right side of the body. Just kind of doing alternate repetitions, rotating those shoulders, okay? Try to relax your head and neck. Ideally, you're able to place your shoulders Arm all the way flat to the floor, keeping your right knee close to the floor as well. Okay, About five repetitions. We'll switch to the other side. So we hug our left knee up to our chest. Cross our left knee over midline. Bringing it close to the floor, holding it down with that right arm. And now you're reaching your left arm over from the right side of the body to the left side of the body. About five repetitions here. You can make this even more effective by following your hand with your eyes, especially as you reach back on the back side of your body, okay? Next one, we're gonna move into an all fours position. We're just gonna do some bird dogs, okay? So you want your wrists more or less underneath the shoulders, okay? Knees more or less underneath the hips. We're gonna reach out with our opposite arm and leg. Then we're gonna try to touch our knee joint and our elbow joint together, okay? So reach out, try to fully extend. Round the back slightly as we touch our elbow and knee joint, okay? We'll go for five repetitions here. Strong and long. Great balance as you touch. Okay, about five reps. We'll switch to the other side. So left arm and right leg. All the way reach out strong. Touch together. Try to maintain a neutral spine as you reach. Drawing that belly button in and ribs down. Great job, okay. So the next movement we're gonna bring, come, uh, bring up to our feet. We'll take a nice wide stance. We're gonna do the active groin stretch, okay? So you can start with your hands and your knees. We're just gonna kind of slide our hips side to side, bending one knee then the other, trying to make sure our trailing leg is fairly straight till we get, feel a good stretch in the groin, all right? If that's not deep enough, you wanna go a little bit farther, you can always place your hands on the ground and walk your hands Side to side as your hips are low. Trying to slide on the same level the whole time. All right. And our next movement, go ahead and stand all the way up. We're going to place our feet in a nice long and low lunge stance. We're going to reach three times in each of our directions, okay? So we're going to reach down to the ground, either side of the foot, then up to the ceiling. We'll do this three times. Maintaining great balance, you can make it more challenging by following your hands with your eyes, okay? Now we're gonna reach over top, side bend your torso, stretching those ribs and the lat muscle on the back side and side of your body. We'll go three times each side there, okay? And then we're gonna twist our whole torso and reach over our left shoulder and then our right shoulder, okay? You can really challenge the balance by trying to look all the way back behind you as far as you can. If you lose your balance, that's okay, great. Just reset, try to get back into the position. All right, switch the other leg. So same routine, you're gonna reach down and up first. So down to the ground, up to the ceiling. You can make it more challenging by following your hands with your eyes. 
Okay, and we're going to tick-tock side to side, reaching over top of the body. Three times each. Okay, and then we'll twist across each shoulder three times each direction. Excellent job. Okay, and then a last movement as our warm up is going to be the hip pop ups. So feet are about shoulder width. You can point your toes out slightly. We're just going to bend down and grab our toes, and we're going to drop our hips into a low squat. Try to make sure your elbows are inside the knees. Okay? We're going to pop our hips back up, hamstring stretch, drop our hips back down into that low squat. Try to keep your feet glued to the floor even as you drop down to that very low squat position. Go about five here. Okay, great job. We're all loose enough, we're ready for the real work. All right, so today's routine, we're gonna do three movements. We've done all of these before, okay? We're just gonna um, compact all the work into one period while we do each of the movements, okay? So this routine that we're doing today is called the Tabata. It's a very well-researched exercise routine. It involves the HIT principle, the High Intensity Interval Training Principle. Um, we'll perform each exercise on its own. We're gonna do 20 seconds of work on our one exercise followed by 10 seconds of rest, and we're gonna do that eight different times before we move on to the next uh, exercise, okay? It's gonna burn, it's gonna get the heart rate up a lot, um, but what's been shown to happen after this is it keeps our metabolism very elevated after the exercise bout, and it really challenges those high-level metabolic systems, so it's gonna improve your conditioning, as well as your strength, as well as your body composition, so it kinda hits all those major buckets, all right? So our first movement is swimmers. Okay, you ready to do this? Ready. All right. So we're gonna lie down on our stomach. If you remember, a swimmer is a full range of motion exercise of the shoulders, trying to keep the face straight down towards the floor. We'll place our hands on our tailbone, trying to keep our wrists, elbows, and shoulders as high as possible. Gonna sweep our arms to a full range of motion, lightly touch over the head, then back the way you came. Okay, so we're gonna go for 20 seconds on. 10 seconds off, I'll tell you when to go and stop. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. 20 seconds of work. All right, we're 10 seconds in, doing great. Halfway there. Two, one, and time, all right. 10 second break. So that was round one. We got seven more to go. Four, three, two, one, go. And time. Good job, 10 second break. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, go. This is round number three. We're getting close to halfway. Awesome job, five more seconds. Time, nice job, okay. Coming up on the halfway point. Four, three, two, one, go. These back muscles might be burning a little bit, that's okay, keep trying to push through. Work as hard as you can. If you gotta take a break, take a break. Jump back in whenever you can, and rest time. Good job, all right, we're halfway there. Just four more rounds. Burn so good. All right, ready, set, go.
Five more seconds. Time, nice job. Okay, that was round five. Only three more. Three, two, one, go. And time, nice job. One more minute, last two rounds. One entire Tabata routine can be completed in three minutes and 50 seconds. And go. Almost there, five more seconds. And rest time, good job. Okay, last one coming up, almost there. And go. Five, four, three, two, one time. Nice job. Okay. That was our first Tabata. We'll take about a minute break. And then we're going to come back at it with the air squats. Okay, so with an air squat, it's just like it sounds. So it's a body weight squat, um, like we did in the level two workout, okay? If you feel like you need to uh, use a chair, you can always use a chair. You just sit down to the chair and stand back up, okay? We're gonna do a body weight squat here in the space, just like a regular air squat. Some people find it uh, easier to hold their hands out, kind of giving themselves a little bit of a counterbalance. You can also move your arms, get a little bit of swing. Sometimes that starts to feel more natural as you start to get more tired, okay? All right, you ready to do this again? Okay, air squats, round number two for the Tabatas. Ready, set, go. If you can consistently get 10 or more squats in each 20 second period, you're doing pretty good. Doing great, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, time, nice job. Okay, yes, round one. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Two, one, go. Five more seconds. Time, nice job. Okay, quarter of the way there. Only six more to go. Ready, set, go. Doing great. And time, nice job. Round three, halfway point coming up. Four, three, two, one, go. Five more seconds. And time, good job, okay. We're halfway there, only four more rounds. Feel free to change up your squat stance too if you want a little bit different angle on each round. All right, ready, go. Five, 
Five more seconds. And time. Nice job. Okay. If you can do this in a mask, you're really tough. <laughs> Ready? Go. Almost there. Five more seconds. And time. Nice job. Okay. Last minute. Only two more rounds. Keep it up, folks. We're almost there. Ready? Go. Five more seconds. Yes, Jenny. And rest. Yes, last one, best one. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Doing great. Five more seconds. We're almost there. Time. Nice job. Okay. There we go. Got those legs right after that one. Okay. Take about a minute break for a little breather. Um, definitely grab some water. We just have one more exercise to go. Okay, exercise number three, we're gonna do the bed sheet rows with that same Tabata interval. So eight rounds of 20 on, 10 off. Ready? Ready, set, go. Nice work. Five seconds. And time. Five seconds left. Go. So good. Five seconds. Ready, go. Ten more seconds. And rest. Five seconds till we go. Go. Nice work. Five seconds left. Is that round four? Five seconds. 
Go. <laughs> Five more seconds. Rest. Oh, how far are we in? You're at 222. Yes. This is and round. Go. Ten seconds here. And break. One more minute. One more minute. Five seconds to go. Thanks, Jenny. Five seconds. And rest. It's your last one. Last one. Ready? Go. Ten more seconds of work. Okay, great job. You finished level five. That was the most challenging level yet, okay? So for the cardiovascular maintenance or um, building, you can uh, do one of two choices, okay? You can either do your six minute run, we'll uh, bump up the speed just a little bit, try to maintain uh, somewhere between five and seven miles per hour. So now we're starting to run at a pretty good pace. Or you can choose our HIIT, our high intensity interval training. Um, you're doing six minutes of 30 seconds of fast run, followed by 30 seconds of either a slow run or complete rest. Okay, and the idea is to be able to run for that 30 seconds at about a seven to eight out of your maximum. Okay, so running at a, a pace that's um, almost unsustainable and that you, is pretty challenging for, for 30 seconds. Okay, um, so Six rounds of that, you actually be done in about five minutes and 30 seconds. And uh, you'll see how that feels, okay? So try to be consistent with this. Um, the more that you do it, the more that your body will adapt and the better you feel over time, okay? So great job, thanks for joining us. And uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. <laughs>